Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Fitzmark TV here, aka G133, and I'm back today with kind of breaking news, but you know, I'm talking a little bit quietly because I just found out about this and I'm at um, school right now. I'm not in class, but like, I don't want to, there's no people around me, I just don't want to be too loud because I am in a part of my school and you know, there might be classes going on, there might be students studying, so I don't want to vlog enough, but. But we did just get, we got news on possibly the ending, basically the ending of Dragon Ball Super. This is not some April Fool's joke, this is not clickbait, this is real. This is the ending of Dragon Ball Super, or at least for now. So basically, a lot of people have been talking about, oh, what is the plan for Dragon Ball Super after the Tournament of Power? We're not yet at the end of Z where Goku meets U and he goes off to train him. We're not there at that part yet. We're still a little bit away from that. And then, um, we're right around, we're getting near the end of the Tournament of Power. What we do know is that the Tournament of Power is ending with Dragon Ball Super Episode 131. That's gonna, as you know, no, it's gonna be ending before that. Dragon Ball Super is going off the air in April, right after the official article here. I'll be reading the details for you. So, according to Japan's Matin Web, the Dragon Ball Super anime will end its television broadcast run this March. So that's not saying, in the first line, that's not saying that Dragon Ball Super, like the anime, is completely over. That's saying that it will be off the air starting um, at the end of March, April first. That's it'll be off the air. It, they won't be um, airing episodes weekly yet, like it has been like the last three years. On uh, the update is Japanese site Sense Po wrote that Dragon Ball Super, the fifth anime in the Dragon Ball franchise, is ending this March. Adding that Fuji TV says a new production is cur currently on the way, and it's like and it's like not the. The series is finished. It's unclear, and so the, I, I apologize. The rate the Japanese um, translate is a little bit off, so it's like not. It's not like the series is finished. It's unclear if, in the Fuji TV quote says the series refers only to Dragon Ball Super, on the entire Dragon Ball anime series. So then, so I guess in a way they're saying just because Dragon Ball Super is ending its TV broadcasting for now, doesn't mean. That um, Dragon Ball franchise as a whole is over. We still have the Dragon Ball movie, The Origins of the Saiyans, that is set to release in November, I believe. And I'll say this right off: if that movie does a lot of numbers and it makes um, and it makes the um, production crew a lot of money, and it's like very big box office, not only in Japan but also here in the U.S., then it's gonna be. Um, there's no way they're gonna end um, Dragon Ball. Because the way Japanese works, as long as people are invested in their series and like the numbers are there to back it up, they will continue to keep making um, Dragon Ball content. So they're not. So we don't know if there's gonna be a new Dragon Ball f like TV show or something centered around Dragon Ball Heroes or something s new. So all we do know is that Dragon Ball Super the anime is ending uh, as of um at the end of march with episode 131 so the turbine power will be coming to a close we have what we do know is i'm not going to give any spoilers we do know that um based on spoilers for dragon ball um we still don't know what's going to happen with the end of the terminal power one thing i'm going to say is because basically there's been a lot of people saying oh um there's hints and theories that something Bad's gonna happen to Universe 7. Universe 7 is not gonna get erased. Especially now with the news that Dragon Ball Super is ending for right now. It's not gonna get erased because I don't think the Japanese people are gonna like let Dragon Ball Super go off the air with a bad ending. Especially when we have when Goku's yet to meet U in the TV anime. The timetable for Dragon Ball Super to come back if Fuji TV does choose to bring it back would be um early 2019. January or April around that time, all right? There's not gonna be no Dragon Ball Super for the rest of this year. There's gonna be no, nothing for Super. 
they, they have the Dragon Ball movie coming out, and they have a couple other things, but as terms of Super, as of March, that's the end of it. But you can, some of the, um, some of the, um, voice actors for the Dragon Ball Super, um, TV anime, they're being, they're gonna be moved and be used for this, um, new series. Which, I, I it sucks, but, like, um... It's the direction they've chosen. So, um, debuting in Japan in June 2015, Dragon Ball Super's main story arc was created by Akira Do Torizama. You no, know, um, Akira Tozama is the guy. He makes all the story. Will he be making, like, new stories and possible new, um, possibly, um, new videos? I see not new video. What am I saying? Is he gonna be making new storylines or working on new characters and stuff like that while Dragon Ball Super's off the air? What we do know is, in terms of the manga, the manga based on this press release, the manga is not ending anytime soon. All right. Um, I forgot the the um Tortaro. I believe that's the guy who owns the manga. This now we knew that the anime was significantly ahead of the manga. It was pretty far ahead. Maybe like. 25 episodes at least we're near the end of the tournament of power and the tournament of power is just about to begin in the manga so basically um on that front um the manga is good at this give the manga plenty of time to Taro, he doesn't if super is like gonna end he doesn't need to rush um he doesn't need to rush the um the manga he can take his time because he's been rushing for the last couple um, manga chapters. He's been rushing. He rushed to the end of the Goku Black arc, and he had to rush through the um, the recruitment arc. All right, the recruitment arc in the, the anime took like fifteen episodes. It took a pretty long time. In the manga, he did it in two chapters. He was able to do the whole recruiting thing, which was crazy. But now, with Dragon Ball Super is going to be off the air. This will give him plenty of time to take his time going through the tournament power, right? And it's unclear if he's going to be making more manga chapters for after the tournament power. There's, we don't know, and I don't expect them because it's going to for most of this year, and not the whole year, the manga is going to be focused on the tournament of power because he's not going to rush through it on that front. But, um... Basically debuting in Japan June 2015, Dragon Ball Super's main story arc was created by Akira Tozawa. The anime, at first, the anime was critic was critical uh, uh, was critiqued for being low quality, but the show found its footing, introducing new hair colors and brutally really free sexy beards, referencing old memes and unleashing powerful storylines. We all know what, we all had our problems with Dragon Ball Super at the beginning. The anime was bad. Um, the fight scenes were underwhelming, and People did not know what was going to happen for DBS, what the hell was they were going to do. But now, but now that we have um, Dragon Ball Super, ever since I would say around, probably around when Goku faced Hit in the Universe 6 vs. Universe 7 um, um, tournament, the Universe 6 vs. Universe 7, ever since that Dragon Ball Super has ran smoothly. The animation has been much better. The fight scenes have picked up. The storylines are better. There's still things that Dragon Ball Super could do to make the series better, but I'm not really complaining that much. All right, I am going to be sad um, that Dragon Ball Super is not going to be on the air. I'm hopefully it's going to come back, but for right now we don't know what's going to happen. We still have film Xenoverse um, Two, which is releasing its final DLC with Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren. We have Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is coming out in about less than two weeks now. Um, we have the, the movie. We have we still have the manga, so there's still going to be Dragon Ball content for us. Even though Super is where we, we all like come together, but like you know, but to see where Dragon Ball Super started and where it is now, but now that's going to make these these last episodes of the two of the tournament power are more sad to watch because there was so much left. There were so many directions Super could have took the franchise after the Turbo Power. We were thinking, oh, we're Goku and Vegeta gonna fit it, gonna visit um, Planet Sadal um, with Kaba 
and Khalifa and Kefla. Would Khalifa and Kefla ever get, would Kefla get Super Saiyan 3? Would Khalifa achieve Super Saiyan Blue? Would, would Goku, um, would Ultras and Goku ever be able to get that rematch with Lord Beerus? Will we ever see Gogeta? Will we ever see Vegito again? So many different questions, so many different directions, so many plots they could have done. And why, why they're doing this? Maybe because, I don't know, because Dragon Ball makes, they didn't really give an answer. They just said Dragon Ball Super is going to be off the air. I'm not going to sit here and make assumptions. I'm just going to give you guys my opinion and reading you based on the news. Um, on that front, um, Dragon Ball Super is going to be off the air. I'm not going to say, it, or quote unquote, it's ending for at least for now. And I believe it probably will come back because super super popular. Everyone on YouTube makes reviews and makes has channels based around the events of Super. Everyone does cool things on the matter. So I think Super will come back. Maybe they just want maybe they just want to take a break and maybe just think back and make new stories. Um think of where they can take the Goku Vegeta characters. Who knows? Um but it's just gonna make these last next two months because we still have about two months left of Dragon Ball Super before it goes off the air we're at episode 124 yeah we still have about eight and they say they're ending it with 131 so that's about um eight episodes left you have eight more episodes which is about two months and I believe there's a couple of days where they're not going to be putting on Dragon Ball Super episodes so um so around April where we went first week of April, that's where it'll be ending. So that's about all I got for you guys for now. I don't have any other news. If there is any other news on Dragon Ball, um, and Dragon Ball Super's long future, I will be the f try to be one of the first ones to report it. Um, but yeah, we st but we still have um, we still have the um the movie to look forward to we have the new game to look forward to we have the manga so there will still be Dragon Ball stuff for us Dragon Ball stuff that will be around for us to talk about but that's about the big news that's all I got for you guys today I'll see you guys in the next video have a great day peace